In this video we continue the code from the previous videos around OAuth 2. Today we are going to modify the access token and ID token. You can follow the full OAuth 2 series if you click on the link in the upper right corner. Customizing the access and ID tokens is very easy. We just need to configure the Bean OAuth 2 token customizer. In the code from the previous video, we create a new Bean OAuth 2 token customizer of type JWT in coding context. The previous video can be found at the link in the top right corner. In the first example, we make a very simple claim. Test. After this simple modification, we can start the project for the first time and look at the result. After starting the Spring Authorization Server, we first need to request an access token and ID token. After we enter all the details, we can send the request. We can now log in we want the three users, here we use the user user and password. If everything is configured correctly, we get a refresh token an ID token, and an access token. With these tokens, we can now go to the website JWT.io. In the first window, we fill in the ID token. In addition to the standard data, we also see our test claim. In the second window, we see the access token, this token a little different in content, but also here we see our test claim. After the first successful test, we are back in Eclipse to extend the code a little further. We further configured the OAuth 2 token customizer. In this configuration we distinguish between ID token and access token. In the ID token we create the test claim test ID token. The access token we give the test claim test access token. Further we make the authorities and username available. We can restart our Spring Authorization Server and look at the result. We started the project and logged in with the developer account. As in the previous test, we want to view the ID token on the website jwt.io. As you can see, the test claim is now test ID token. In the second window we are viewing the access token. Here in addition to the test access token claim we also see the user and authorities. This was it for today. Thanks for following along.